Good day doodlers, welcome to Draw Cartoons. If you want to learn how to draw the fast and easy way, this is the place to be. Let's learn how to draw a cute little baby reindeer, a perfect decoration for those last minute Christmas cards or party invites. This one is adorable and may well be easier than you expect, so make sure you watch the whole video to catch all of my tips. As always, you'll need a pencil, paper, an eraser, and a sharpie to go over your sketch with. Let's go! Let's get started. But first, if you want to learn to draw the fast and easy way, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Let's begin! So as always, with plenty of room on your paper, just draw a small circle for the head. You're going to need a lot of room kind of very much to the left of this for the body and the antlers to fit in. Then draw a line right through the middle like this. We're not going to bother with one doing uh, like that, We're not, we don't really need that today. And then following down from the circle, from the left side of the circle, draw a curve, just a small one that ends about there for the back of the neck. And then for the front of the neck, you want to start it about here, bring it out and then back in towards a the leg. Then you can carry this on, scoop it right under that underbelly till you get to about here. And then finish off in the kind of a, a shape like this that makes it look like a big bean, like the head's just kind of sat on a bean. Okay, so that's the shape of the body. You want to have the back kind of poking upwards a little bit, see this kind of curve of the body, so the chest is lower and the back is much higher than the chest, like this. So now we'll draw in these, uh, these shapes of the legs, so we'll start with the back leg, we can start with the, uh, the back here and then bring a line that curves inwards a bit and then back out for the heel here. When you get to there, we're just going to bring that down towards the bottom with a small curve there and then round it out for the hoof at the bottom. Okay, try and get that shape as well as you can, and you really don't want to draw this too far to the side like this, you don't want to draw this coming over here, you just want to make it a nice small curve like that. Then draw a line up towards the heel again, make sure it's level with this one, if I draw a dotted line across you can see that those are pretty much uh, perfectly level. And then before we get back to the torso we want to bring this out and then upwards and curve off like that, that's kind of like the knee there. Now behind this we're going to draw the other back leg and it's going to be way simpler because this leg, mercifully, is covering most of this leg so it's a little bit easier to draw it. So we'll start with the knee this time and we'll curve in for the ankle, out for the hoof and then you can just kind of curve it back and there you go, very nice simple shape just to sit in front of that one. We'll add a tail while we're back here so it's just a small soft little triangular kind of shape or more of a leaf shape really, just kind of sticking off and poking upwards like that just to kind of imply our character is happy. And now for the front legs, so I like to start with the shoulder and work down, so think about where you drew this line, if you were to draw, don't draw a dotted line, but if you were to draw a dotted line across, you want to start the shoulder about there. So I mean if you do want to draw a dotted line just for a guide, go ahead. Um, so bring that shoulder down and then you want to bring it towards the chest as you exit the guideline here. See how it kind of swings out like that? Bring it down for, a, I guess you'd call it an elbow. I don't really know what it's called on a four-legged animal, but for us it would be an elbow. And then curve it as you come down towards the hoof and then draw the very, very bottom of the hoof. This can be a tiny, tiny bit lower than this one. If I were to draw a dotted line along here, you can see they're not level, but that's fine. Uh, that's the perspective that we're drawing our character at. So the front of the hoof you come up a little bit and then you just kind of bring it in towards the knee. Draw, draw a small knobble here for the for the elbow, the knee, whatever we're going to call it, the joint I guess. And then a small curve at this kind of shape as you get to the chest. And now for that front leg, that front leg we weren't pointing out. We could really just draw the other leg like that if we really wanted to, uh, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do something more interesting. So coming out from the chest here, we're going to draw I guess a knee, I'm going to settle on calling it a knee, I think it's more of a knee than it is an elbow. Draw it out there and then bring it back, give it a small bump as you head towards the, I guess, the ankle of the hoof. And then this hoof isn't flat on the floor, as a matter of fact it curves uh, like this because it's held up. And now we can quickly draw in the inner parts of the leg here, I like to draw this one first so you can draw it folding uh, over here because this leg is bent. Uh, there's not a lot of this inner leg we really have to draw because a lot of it gets hidden by the angle of the leg. So there you go, I would say that's the hardest part of the drawing done. If you can do that, you can definitely do the rest. So for now, I would like to jump on to drawing the face. So I think a good place to start is the eye. So 
You see this guideline here? This guideline tells us where to draw the eye, or where to start drawing the eye. So about here, smack bang in the middle of the circle, kind of a pokeball shape there really, we're going to draw a line down and then up towards the muzzle, but it doesn't quite get there. That's just the bottom of our eye. And then we'll draw a big arching curve like this. Nice and big. Be really generous with the size of that eye. The bigger you draw it, the cuter your reindeer is going to be. To an extent, obviously, if the eye is like this, it's going to look monstrous. But uh, go with an eye, that kind of shape there. And then we're going to draw a small pupil on this side so the character is looking back over here or something. Don't know what they're looking at. Maybe Santa's sleigh. Maybe their fellow reindeer. Who knows? And I like to draw a small pupil inside the iris just to kind of help point out that yes this character is facing this way. You might want to add a small circle here, just a white circle as kind of like some light bouncing off the eye, gives the impression that the eye is uh, wet. And now for the front of the face, the, uh, the snout, off the front of our circle here we want to draw a line that curves and comes out like this. Try and get that curve in there. Um, if it looks curvy and bendy, the character will look a bit younger and cuter. And keep the snout quite short as well as you come down. You don't want to bring the snout out, out here. Uh, it'll look a bit more like a duck if you do. So bring the muzzle down and up and under the eye like this into a smile like that. Very kind of Disney style smile. That's very much how I draw my smiles and it's how a lot of cartoonists draw their smiles because they look pretty good. They're very, very friendly and uh, cartoony looking. Now for the bottom jaw, we're going to draw it very slightly open by drawing a small curve that ends underneath the top jaw. And then just a small chin that kind of mirrors that shape but tucks in into that part of the guideline there. Now for the nose in the end, the nose is just a soft triangle at the end. Okay, I've given it a small bend here to make it look more reindeer-like. Uh, a lot of cartoon reindeers, I don't know why people draw them with kind of dog-looking noses or bear noses. Um, it's better to give them this kind of bump here just so we know it's uh, definitely a reindeer, reindeer and it's not a mix of different animals. So an ear on this side, we need to draw an ear now. So again, we're going for this leaf shape, but a tiny bit bigger and obviously on the head rather than the tail. So again, just a little leaf shape here on the back of the head just above that guideline will do. And inside that, we'll draw a small diamond shape to show the inner ear. And there we go, that's where our character hears from. And now for the antlers. Now the antlers are not easy, but like I said, if you can tackle the legs, you can definitely get this last part done. You're nearly there. So I like to draw a small line here for where the antlers are connecting with the head. And then from there, we can kind of go crazy. So the design that I've chosen for my antlers, you can be quite creative with this. But I like to draw two, uh, I don't know what they're called, spikes, spines, whatever they're called, points, I'm going to call them points, of the bone pointing forwards, a small one that flicks back, and then we get this huge part of the antlers back here, and I'm going to draw one, two, three points, one bigger than the other, see how this one's bigger than this one, which is bigger than this one, going back, get that classic reindeer kind of look. And then a small one down here before we return to where we came from with a bit of a swooping curve that dips down right at the very end. If you've seen Frozen 2, uh, Sven has a very, very good pair of antlers you may want to use as a reference. You can look up a picture of, uh, of Sven online just to help you practice. Uh, antlers are not easy to draw, so uh, Frozen 2 could be good research for you. Um, I'm, not, <laughs> this, I'm not being uh, paid by Disney, by the way, to advertise the film. I just genuinely think it's a good movie. So for the other side uh, of the head here, we're basically just repeating the exact same shape that we did again. But like I said before, a little bit of it all gets a bit hidden away because it's uh, behind these antlers. So we're only really kind of drawing the bits that would show. Now here, I'm going to add a, a couple of spikes of hair just kind of sitting on top of the head here so we can hide the way that the antlers join to the head but I mean that's that's only really a minor reason the main reason is because our character is quite young so we give them a kind of a scruffy kind of haircut here now for the fur pattern um, again you can look up pictures of reindeer online but there's a bit of white here so just draw a few gentle lines here and maybe the maybe the fur goes down the chest like that generally does don't forget to separate your hooves um, the fur probably comes down, down to about here on each of these hooves. There we go. And then the belly has a bit of white fur down it like that as well. 
and let's just finish off with the with the tail there. So there we go. So grab your sharpie, um, go over all the lines you want to keep. Ignore the guidelines. We don't need any of these guidelines anymore. Like those, those are all gone. We don't need those. But uh, yeah, go over it with a sharpie, and you'll have your very own awesome drawing of a cute little reindeer ready to colour. How adorable! Give it a red nose to instantly make it into a baby Rudolph. I'd love to see all of your drawings over on the Draw Cartoons Discord. You can share any drawings you've done, tips and video ideas whenever you want, and absolutely everyone is welcome. Just scroll down, hit the Discord link down there, and if you need to, make a Discord account. They're free and quick to make. That's it. Welcome to the Discord Doodlers. By the way, who's your favourite reindeer? Santa's got a whole load of his own reindeer for pulling along his sleigh, but do you have one that you like the most? Let me know in the comments down below. And thanks again for watching. Make sure you drop me a like and subscribe if you want to keep learning to draw the fast and easy way. Until next time!